Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another creepy video. Oh my God. So today's topic is going to be one that really creeps me out and it's something that out of all the things in the unexplained or paranormal, like I could deal with ghosts, I could deal with demons, <laughs> but UFOs creep me out. Now, do I believe that they exist? I don't know. I really don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I've always had my doubts, but I can't deny that it's one of those many mysterious things out there that really creeps me out. Like out of all the things that I watch all day long, I could watch movies about ghosts and hauntings and possession and whatnot. But if I watch something that has to do with like UFOs or alien abduction, you could be guaranteed that I'm going to be freaked out. <laughs> so I'm going to talk a little bit about it, but I want to read an article that came out on June 20th of this year, 2019. And this uh, came out on CNN. And it's, um, okay, it says, Senators receive classified briefing on UFO sightings. Washington CNN. A group of U.S. Senators, including the Vice Chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, received a classified briefing Wednesday about a series of reported encounters by the U.S. Navy with unidentified aircraft, according to a congressional aide. If pilots at Oceana or elsewhere are reporting flight hazards that interfere with training or put them at risk, then Senator Warner wants answers. It doesn't matter if it's weather balloons, little green men, or something else entirely. We can't ask our pilots to put their lives at risk unnecessarily. Rachel Cohen, the spokeswoman for Democratic Virginia Senator Mark Warner, told CNN. Joseph Gratisher, spokesman for the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Warfare, also confirmed the briefing took place in a statement to CNN on Thursday. Navy officials did indeed meet with interested congressional members and staffers on Wednesday to provide a classified brief on efforts to understand and identify these threats to the safety and security of our aviators, he said. Follow-up discussions with other interested staffers are scheduled for later today, Thursday, June 20th. Navy officials will continue to keep interested congressional members and staff informed. Given the classified nature of these discussions, we will not comment on the spe specific information. Oh, wow. What the heck? Hold on, you guys. I got a pop-up and it totally killed what I was reading. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Hold on, you guys. Now I don't know where I left off. <laughs> Navy officials did indeed meet with interested congressional members and staffers on Wednesday to provide a classified brief on efforts to understand and identify these threats to the safety and security of our aviators, he said. Follow-up discussions with other interested staffers are scheduled for later today, Thursday, June 20th. Navy officials will continue to keep interested congressional members and staff informed. Given the classified nature of these discussions, we will not comment on the specific information provided in these Hill briefings, Gratisher added. The briefing was first reported by Politico. President Donald Trump recently confirmed that he was also briefed on reports of Navy pilots spotting unidentified flying objects. I did have one very brief meeting on it, Trump told ABC News in an interview that aired Sunday. But people are saying they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe it? Not particularly. Several pilots told the New York Times in an article published in May about multiple encounters with UFOs with no visible engine or infrared exhaust plumes. 
In April, the Navy introduced guidelines for its pilots to report unexplainable events so the military can keep track of what may or may not be happening. Political first reported on this matter. A Navy official told CNN at the time that the Navy does not believe aliens have been flying around U.S. airspace, but there have been a number of reports of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft entering various military-controlled ranges and designated airspace in recent years, the Navy said in a statement. The Navy said these kinds of incursions pose both a security risk and safety hazard. For safety and security concerns, the Navy and the USAF takes these reports very seriously and investigates each and every report the statement said. That is creepy. <laughs> now, oh my God, like you could go online and find tons and tons of people who have reported seeing sightings and everything, even lately on Facebook. It's crazy. All the memes that are going around Facebook right now with all the craziness about people saying they're going to go invade Area 51 and all <laughs> And um, it's crazy. But yeah, um, look, I don't know. Like I said, from personal experience, I don't know. I've never seen a UFO but I could tell you that my dad claims he has. Um, I did a mukbang many years ago where I do like, I would do mukbangs and, and creepy paranormal stories. And in one of them, I did uh, talk about this story about my dad. He used to go to this, uh, we have a casino here in Miami called the Mikasuki. And it's a, it's a little farther from like the city. And uh, he was traveling in this road back home from the casino and um, he said that he was uh, driving and he saw like this blue light come out of nowhere and all of a sudden it stood there for like a moment and zoom, it disappeared, you know? And he was like, whoa, what the heck was that, you know? And yeah, like to this day, he's been baffled about that, but it's creepy, you know? I mean, it could have been anything, but come on now. Um, I think my husband David, when he was uh, younger, I don't know if it was with his mom or his grandma, he did see a UFO sighting as well. Um, uh, I think he said it was something like weird in the sky, like diamond shaped. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't remember that well exactly what, what he said about it. It was a long time ago when he told me that story, but I know that he has experienced that a, as a kid as well. And my dad uh, did too. Um, I don't remember if as a kid, I remember one time, but I, I vaguely remember it where I was outside with my mom and my mom kept looking at the sky and I was very young, but I do remember her saying something like, what is that? You know, and she kept looking at the sky and she was like, that is so weird. Like, what is, and she kept asking my dad, like, what is that? And I think my dad was joking about it. He was like, oh, that's a UFO and stuff like that. But you know, a lot of people joke about it because they don't really believe in it. And honestly, like I said, I really don't know. I, I have no idea if aliens are real or not, but one thing is for sure. It creeps me out. That is one of the many things that does creep me out when it comes to the like the unexplained or you know like the paranormal or supernatural stuff that is one of the things that like <laughs> definitely creeps me out i've always been been creeped out by aliens and um i saw this movie called signs which is like really old i'm sure you guys have seen it too that movie always creeps me out and what's the other one uh the fourth kind oh my god that movie is so creepy you guys like i think every movie out there about aliens except et <laughs> with the exception of et really freaks me out i don't know ufos is something that's like a touchy subject for me it's scary it is scary you know the thought of uh I mean, so many stories out there of people who claim alien abduction and whatnot. You know, I, like I said, I still don't don't think I quite believe <laughs> that aliens are real. But just the thought of it being a possibility and getting abducted into like a freaking spaceship and having all these kinds of like tests and stuff done done to you and being probed and whatnot, like. The thought of it is creepy. Let me tell you something. Um, anything that has to do with out, outer space, 
I know it fascinates a lot of people, but not me, it creeps me out. I don't even watch movies like that have to do with, I mean, first of all, movies that are like um, based on, uh, you know, being in space don't interest me at all. They bore me. I don't like movies that are based on space. Like, I love horror movies. For example, there's two movies from two franchises that are two of my favorite horror franchises in the world is Leprechaun and um, Leprechaun. I think Critters also has one. And Jason X from Friday the 13th. Jason X is the tenth one in the franchise. I cannot stand that movie. I don't like any movie that's based on that takes place in a spaceship or anywhere on space. I can't stand it. It bores me. It does not interest me whatsoever. I hate space movies. <laughs> um, and Leprechaun, yeah, Leprechaun, the one that he's, I think it's the fourth one where he's uh, like in space or something. Yeah, I've never been interested by any of uh, uh, the movies. But, um, but yeah, it also freaks me out. Anything that, that has to do with like outer space or whatever, it creeps me out. There's another movie called Gravity with Sandra Bullock. It's a really good movie, but it's so scary. It's like she's, uh, I think she's like an astronaut or something and she's doing something, uh, up in space and like, um, I think she, she like loses her, her balance and she's separated from like the, the, the space shuttle or whatever and she's like there floating and oh my god and like the, the the thought of her being lost in space forever it's like i don't know it's so creepy to me so yes definitely anything that has to do with ufos or like aliens and outer space stuff no thank you that is one thing that really does creep me out so anyway i just wanted to bring this video out to you what do you guys think you know do you believe in aliens do you think that there are UFOs out there and <laughs> there is life outside planet Earth? What do you think? Like I said, I, I don't know. I can't say yes, that I believe in it for sure. And I can't say no, I'm 100% convinced that aliens are not real. It's just fabricated stories and, and people who see alien sightings are... I used to think that though, I'm not going to lie. There was a time back when I used to be... Um, evangelical Christian before I converted to uh, Orthodox that I used to believe that aliens weren't real and people who actually had these alien encounters were actually seeing demons so I'm not sure if I quite still believe that but but that was a possibility that I always thought of when I when I would think of aliens and hear all these stories I was like mm, aliens are not real those are demons <laughs> but anyway yeah I don't know Honestly, right now, I don't know where I stand. All I know is that the thought of it and the possibility of it creeps me the hell out. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for all the screaming in the background. My kids discovered the app of Talking Tom on their little tablet. And now they scream all day long because they think it's amusing that any little noise they make with their mouth, Talking Tom repeats it with a funny, squeaky, chipmunk-like voice. So, excuse all the screaming in the background. <laughs> anyway, oh, do you guys like my Stranger Things blanket over there? I, I wanted to put it up to make it, you know, go with this uh, creepy video about the outer space and monsters and aliens. <laughs> and I have my Jason mask over there too. Jason. <laughs> So, any, oh, I cannot wait for Halloween. I'm going to have that fireplace totally decked out with Halloween lights, orange lights, and creepy stuff, and jack-o'-lanterns, and I cannot wait for Halloween. Oh, my God, we are at what? July, August, September, October. Three months away, you guys. Three months away to Halloween. I cannot wait. How exciting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to insert some creepy UFO sightings um, pictures at the end of this video, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.